I'm going to be doing a question on P2. The learning outcome is I can collect information to solve problems in mathematical context that involve the area of trapezium. Right. The example is find the area of the shaded region. So here we have a shape. It's a trapezium. And inside it, there's a small rectangle. First thing I'm going to do is find the area of the trapezium. So the area of the trapezium is going to be a half, open bracket, 8 plus 5, close bracket, multiplied by 7. Next, a half, open bracket, 8 plus 5 is 13, close bracket, multiply that by 7. Next, I'm going to do a half, 13 times 7 is 91, so that's going to be multiplied by 91. And a half times uh, 91 is 45.5. So the area is 45.5 centimeters squared. That's the area of trapezium done. Now, we need to do the same thing for the rectangle. We're going to find the area. So the working out for the rectangle is going to be here. I'm just going to change the color of it. That's going to be base multiplied by the perpendicular height, which is 3 times 2. That gives me 6 centimeters squared. Next, I am asked to find the area of the shaded region. The shaded region, to calculate the area of the shaded region, all I have to do is subtract the area of, of the trapezium from uh, the rectangle. So that's going to be 45.5 <clears throat> take away 6, which gives me 39.5 centimeters squared. <laughs> 